Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how to operate a Samsung Samsung washing machine. This is a Samsung front-loading washing machine. It also has this Steam VTR system on here. And I'm going to go over all of this with you today. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load the washing machine with clothes that I have down here, all right? But the first thing I'm gonna do before I put the clothes in here, I'm gonna add detergent. This is like a medium size load. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add two of these pods right here. On a small one, I'd only add one, but in medium size to large, I add two. So I'm gonna to toss those into the drum first. That's very important. Next, I'm going to add right here, because these are white clothes, I'm adding Oxy. Oxy is for uh it's a it's it's an oxygenator all right it's a replacement for bleach right here and that's oxyclean right here that i choose to use now you don't have to use that that's just my option right there and then i'm going to add fabric softener right here is a compartment for fabric sauce softener and or bleach liquid bleach and here is for powdered laundry powder all right i don't have powdered laundry powder and i don't have liquid bleach but I do have fabric softener, so I'm gonna add it to this compartment where fabric softener goes. Bleach goes in there if you have bleach, and then right there is where you have the powdered laundry detergent or liquid laundry detergent. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this. I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna go ahead and add my fabric softener into the compartment right there. That's all done, put the cap back on here. Go ahead and shut this. Now let's add the clothes to the washing machine. All right, added the clothes to the washing machine. And then I'm gonna go ahead and shut it and make sure it's all sealed, shut. One thing you're gonna have to do is press the power button to get everything started. Unlike some other brands, you can't just press any button to turn it on. You have to come over to the power button, press on, it takes a second and it comes on. Next, you're gonna to have to come over to your selection. There's a plenty of selections that can, you can choose from. I'm gonna go over them with you, all right? So the first thing we have is the rinse and spin. So for instance, you have some clothing, you just want them to rinse and spin, you have this option right here. You get there by turning the knob. The next is the allergen selection. That's for people who have allergies and you want your clothes to have as less, Minimum amount of allergens coming from them when they're done. It's like the allergen. You have sanitize, which takes the clothes and sanitize the clothes. It uses a mixture of hot water, a high spin. You can have the chance, the option of choosing from light, normal, or heavy. All right. And then it gives you other options. You have the heavy duty mode. I tend to use this for like a very large loads or something like with coats or something like that that I have to throw in there. Something that's too big, larger than a normal wash, I tend to go to heavy. All right, so that's heavy. And then you have normal, you have bedding. So if I have sheets, blankets or whatnot, I use the bedding option. And then I go have quick wash, permanent quick wash. It's for when you need to wash your clothes fairly quickly, you don't have you don't want to wait the entire hour or so to wash. It has it at 26 minutes. That's the minimum you can put it at. Permanent press, delicates, all right? You have all of these. I'm doing white clothes today. I'm gonna go ahead and do a setting on normal, all right? So once I have it on normal, I have options that I can choose from, all right? So once it's on normal, I can come over here. It sets at 59 minutes right here. It has the rinse, extra rinse, I can press the extra rinse. You'll do an extra rinse to make sure all of the soap and everything else is rinsed out there more efficiently than just one rinse. But do you notice when I press the extra rinse, it increases the time by about 10 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna turn it off just for the sake of going through the video. You have an option for extra spin. It does not increase the time. Extra spin is if you have something that's really heavy and you know it retains a lot of water, if you want, to maximize or make your dryer more efficient in drying your clothes, sometimes I'll do an extra spin because it gets rid of more of the water, therefore able to dry the clothing faster, all right? There is a spin only option, press that. If you want to do a spin only option, 
it takes 10 minutes. All right, just a spin only option. Turn it, go ahead and turn that off. Let me see if I can do that. All right, just if you want to reset it, just go like this and go back. The spin only is off. There is a steam function. I'm actually going to use the steam function on this wash because it has some clothing that, you know, it's, it's white and I can afford to have it uh, really hot temperature to, to clean it because they're white clothes and I want them sparkling white, uh, sparkling white. And I do not want, I do not fear having these clothes bleed because what a clothes bleed, you know, they bleed color. They don't bleed white, right? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and press that steam option. And you see when I press the steam option, it takes the time up to 121. I don't know why it went up to 121. All right, back to 59. So, right, I pressed it once, took it up to 125. If I turn it off, it takes it back down to 121. That doesn't make sense. All right, we'll figure that out later. All right, next you have your water temperature options. You can go from hot, cold, eco warm, which saves you money and saves the environment, or just regular warm. I'm going to go with hot for this particular wash. Cold, as you can see, if I have it set at cold, the wash time is actually longer. For the sake of cold water, it doesn't clean as fast as hot water. All right. Next is you can control the spin option. I can go to no spin. No spin. Let's go right here. No spin, low spin, medium, or high. I'm going to choose high for these clothes right here. Again, right here, you have the soil level. It isn't normal. You can change it to heavy, light, or I'm going to keep it at normal. You have my cycle. You can actually set this cycle and save it right here. I'm going to go through that in another video, and I'll come back to it in this video at the end. You can have the delay option. You can press this, and you, the delay feature pretty much sets the timer on this. So after I press start, Remember, you have to press start. We'll get to that. It The wash will start after one hour of waiting. All right. And you can go all the way up, I believe, to, let's see how high it goes up to, 20 hours, maybe, 21, 22, 23, 24. You can set the delay feature for up to 24 hours. All right. There's a self-clean feature that you can press right there. It, it's self-clean. Do not have clothing in here when you do the self-clean option. Turn that off. It won't turn off, so I'm going to go right here. Go back. Go ahead and make my settings. All right. You have the self-clean, and then you have the sound option. You'll notice after the, the wash is done, there will be an a, a alarm that lets you know that the wash is done. And it's kind of annoying. You can turn it off by, it's currently it's off. When the light is on, that means it's off. Okay, when the light is off, that means the sound is on. So let me turn the sound off because I don't want to hear it like that. All right, Ooh, let me do it again. All right, do you see that? It lit up right there. That means the sound is off. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and start this cycle. Let me press the My Cycle button really quick. All right, this My Cycle is saved as something. All right, Cycle saved. And turn that off. I'm going to go over that later because I'm not entirely sure how to do it. I'm not, going to, I'm not going to give you the wrong information in this video. So I'll come back over this and I'll leave a link in the description part of the page for the My Cycle once I figure out how to do it. Extra wrench, steam, sound off, and I'm ready to start once I change this. Oh, look, this. All right, normal. Okay, so when I press the steam, it automatically takes it to heavy, all right? So that's one thing to note. But once you have your settings all set, you're gonna come over here and then you're gonna press the start button and then back up, all right? Watch this. Start, and now it starts. And that's how you operate a Samsung front-loading washing machine. Let me know if you have any questions.